They're cute and cuddly and desperately need your help. Stick around. We're hoping to find homes for those loving, warm, gorgeous little doggies. Welcome back, everyone. We have some really cute pooches just around the corner who need a home. So How do you know this? I know because I can see the just cute little the faces, <laughs> and they are so adorable. And uh, so if you uh, if you are in need of a dog, or if you just want to see some cute oh. pooches, right. uh, stick around because oh, look at that face. They're they're coming up in just a minute. Oh, uh, Steve, I don't think that's a nice thing to say to these lovely women. You're talking about what they're holding. Hey, this week, Fox & Friends is shining a light on animals in need and showing how you can help our four-legged friends with our series, Pause for a Cause. Joining us right now, one of our good friends, Robin Presnell. She's the executive director of Small Paws Rescue, Inc. Small Paws, by the way, is the largest breed rescue in the country. Over the past 13 years, they've rescued about 8,000 Bichons, correct? We have. All right. Thank you. So, Robin, tell me about, first off, this is? This is Carly. This is Carly. Carly. Uh, first off, the Bichon as a breed. What, yes. what, what What does it bring to the table? Oh, so much. They're just happy, cheery little lap dogs. They're very long-lived, one of the longest-lived dogs. We have some that are 20, 21. We've even mm -hmm. had 22-year-olds. Mm -hmm. They are, for the most part, hypoallergenic. Most of them love children, love to play with you. They want to be in your house, they, okay. in your bed. So they're not looking to run away. They're not, they're not looking they're not, for a better master. not looking to run away. All right, this guy's a little jumpy. This she's, is Carly. This is Carly. She's about a one and a half. She's a one and a half year old, uh, year old uh, Bichon, and her story is really quite unusual. We found her in a shelter about to be euthanized with her seven three week old babies. Wow. And we rescued all eight of them, and all the puppies have now been weaned, mm -hmm. and they have all been adopted, and now it's time to find home for mama. All right, so we can go to uh, foxandfriends.com and people at friendsoffoxnews.com and write us right now. All right, all right uh, now let's meet. This is Mickey. 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 Mickey's two to three years old, you believe. Loves being held, we understand. <laughs> yes, he does. Hence how relaxed. Now, let's see if, if Mickey's is jumpy. No, Mickey likes That's me a little jumpy. bit more. Yep, yes. he does. All right. So, Mickey's about two and a half. Now, he's going to live a He's going to live to like 50, correct? Oh, 80. No, 90. I, but, I mean, <laughs> these dogs live a long time. Long In dog years. So yeah, it's yeah. a big commitment. Yeah, it really is. Right. But they do have a, long, a lot of longevity, and they're just really good family pets. They're really good dogs. Do they have a natural enemy? Uh, yes, I would say coyotes. Coyotes. We, we can't let them be out, out alone, you know, okay. outside without, we, they need to be on a leash in our company. Um, and, um, you know, somebody would definitely take them from your car. Don't ever leave a Bichon in your car alone. Gotcha. Now this is? Marcus. Marcus. Tell me a little bit about Marcus. Marcus is a year and a half. Right. He uh, was rescued um, from us through a Chicago kill shelter. Uh, owner surrendered him to a shelter. We picked him up. Cleaned him up, and here he is, and he's a lover boy. And as he's hearing the story, he's re remembering Thank what you, you did for him. <laughs> this is fantastic. Now, and and this, of course, is Boris. This is Boris. Manhattan Boris. And who is Boris? Well, Boris was rescued by Small Paws in 2006 from a commercial kennel. Some people would call that a puppy yeah, mill. A second, Boris. There's the kennel. You can grab him. <laughs> um, he was a year old when we got him, and now uh, he went from living in a commercial kennel in Missouri to a high-rise apartment in Manhattan where he has walked every day in mm -hmm. Central Park. Can you let them all down and see if they get along? Because well, uh, well we that, can't. Well, we yeah, can. Sure. Are you against that? No, 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 no. We can't. You, you, you guys can get these two down. I don't have a leash on. Yeah, Carly. It's all right. We got the door closed. They can't get out. Yeah, they, yeah. Right. They're, they're happy. They're happy kids. The Shans. The Shans generally just love one another and they love each other and they they're they're uh, they're happy dogs. All of these dogs can go to homes well, with other dogs. And by the way, Gretchen, you did say at some point you yes. love this breed. Oh yes, I do. When your daughter was old enough, you'd make you'd make the adoption. Do you want to adopt one of these dogs? Uh, that, the only that, problem that. is my daughter's not ten yet, and that was the <laughs> rule in our in that our is. house she to be responsible. Right? Yes, she remember? She's ten. Uh, I have a we'll sense talk. at ten it's going to be twenty-one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she's, she reminds me every day, Brian. I'm okay. not getting out of this one. All right. <laughs> All right, good. So we got a few more years, a few more Bichons right. to uh, take care of. Smallpaws.com. 
or foxandfriends.com. That's right. And we so just, smallpawsrescue.org, I should say. Smallpawsrescue.org. And we desperately need volunteers to give uh, foster homes to dogs like this. We have about 250 in rescue. Okay. Desperately need them in north and south Texas, Arkansas, New York. All right. Everywhere. It was great seeing you again. Thank and you. And hopefully we'll get some homes. Thank All right. you. All right. Good Thank job. Thank you. All right. Uh, Gretch, Steve, tell me what else is coming up. Beautiful right. dogs. Thank you very much, Brian. Bye, dogs.